We have a saying in our house since Lena was born, it's embrace the chaos and choose joy. <laughs> because life is hard sometimes, but we always remain positive and Lena can be having a terrible day, but she will just look at you and smile and it doesn't matter to her. So she's just, she's thankful for the little things. So. We had one last ditch effort that we were gonna try to place a dialysis catheter and start dialysis to hopefully pull some fluid off. And overnight, they had no reason as to why, but she started going to the bathroom and the fluid started coming off. And we spent the next 88 days in the Sanford NICU and going up and down, in and out of heart failure. She'd take two steps forward and 20 steps backwards, but they were always on top of everything that she threw at them. Now that we see her personality, we know why she pulled through, because she's kind of feisty. So. <laughs> we have actually, over the last three months, have been seeing her hit so many milestones. We're very thankful that we get this opportunity to be able to use her story and to shed light on the resources that we have and the help that we've received from Sanford and Children's Miracle Network. So our child life specialists at Sanford, my middle child has always called them the teddy bears. That's the people that make you feel warm and fuzzy, she always said. It's not just for the patient, it's for the patient's family these nurses they sit here and they are the ones holding your hands keep pushing you keep reminding you it's not gonna last forever and so they I mean they are just a real comfort I feel like our family has benefited from this more than a lot of families have and you know we feel the generosity you see it you feel it thank you for support supporting and just know that our family appreciates every dollar that's donated, every hour that's volunteered. You know, there's so many things that, ha that need to happen to make this possible, and we just can't say thank you enough. <laughs>